Hi, it's William from X Solutions. Today we have a test review print for the CR5S, which is a dual extrusion method printer. That means it's going to be printing in two colors, and we're going to be looking at how it operates and how well it functions. As you can see, we're actually printing right now with the CR5S, and effectively, this is what most prints will look like. As you can see, it has dual color, it's a little globe. Now, a lot of people, they very much like this and they like how it looks, but it becomes quite interesting while it's printing. And that is because what happens while it's printing, as you can see here, this little section, this little cube, when the printer needs to change filament, it's actually gonna head off to the side and start uh, printing excess filament out so that it can change nozzles without having to mix colors accidentally, right? Because we did set it so that one, it would very clearly be one color on one part and another color on another, uh, instead of having an mixed element. So it does have to go over here and just print out a little bit to make sure that it goes to pure blue or to pure green. So we've been testing quite a bit with the CR5S, uh, with uh, the regular build plate, glass, mirror, and what we've noticed is that when we started out t uh, testing with the standard G-code that comes with the SD card, is that it was at f about 40 degrees on the heated bed, and that was a bit too cold. Uh, we noticed the last layer, or the bottom layer, wasn't actually holding, uh, and the print itself could kind of it could come loose and get dragged across the 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 print or the hotbed. The reason we probably think this is happening is because as you can see, that is a much thicker bed than uh, most 3D printers. So what we've done is we've actually turned it up to about 60 because we notice when it gets to that temperature, that's when it really does start to stick and stick well. So also printing with the glass bled uh, does have a couple of major advantages. Uh, first is when after you finish print, you can simply just take off the glass bed, let it cool, and start printing again. Whereas if you do just use the standard bed it comes with, you're gonna have to wait for it to cool off, remove the printed object, and then start printing. So it does can be quite a bit of a time saver, especially if you're using the CR5S constantly. Um, it also has the advantage of if you accidentally make a mistake, the nozzle head is too close, or something breaks, it breaks the glass, which is a lot less, uh, expensive and much easier to fix than breaking the bed itself. So there are some major advantages to just using a glass bed. So as you can see, the CR5S works quite well. Uh, now this is an industrial design, so it does retail for $16.99. And if you would like a do-it-yourself version, the CRX is coming out next week. Uh, we'll have a link below, because Creality did do an unboxing video of that. And you can see that it retails for about uh, 10.49 on mechistore.com. It'll be coming out next week. If you would like to pre-order, please just shoot, it, shoot us a message and we can